I think just to pick the first lines of, you know, what, what can um, international business do when it comes to corruption? Um, again, even just using the issue of Bangladesh and seeing something that obviously has been going on for a long time, whether it's corruption or lack of attention, whatever you want to call it, I feel the same way you do. I don't always know have the right words. I mean, not only this year, that's, that's just if I can interrupt your answer. I mean, this has been going on and people have been dying and 13 died in January this year in a factory. And of course, no one knows about it because 13 is not enough. <laughs> you know, it was only... Anyway, sorry to interrupt you, but uh, just to reinforce what a, you're it's saying. A, yeah, it, it's a salient point. Uh, I haven't met anyone in business that doesn't care about the same things I do. We love our children, we love others, we want to use what we have to create a tremendous influence. Um, there's a great, great quote um, uh, from one of the civil, right le civil rights leaders in the United States, who, his name is Andrew Young, and he, he, he worked directly with Martin Luther King. And he tells this story, um, we, I had the privilege of, of him telling a few of us and encouraging us this summer. And he told us a story about when, when he and Martin Luther King uh, went to the president to try to pass the Voters' Rights Act. And they sat with, with the president, and the president said, you know, I've got all the responsibility, but no power. Okay. Well, I think every president feels that way, and any person in politics feels that way. And sometimes that's an excuse, but sometimes it's actually the truth. And, he, and Andrew said, as he walked out of the White House, the West Wing, Martin Luther King was very quiet, and, Mart, uh, and, and Dr. King said, we've got to get that president some power. And so sometimes the decision makers and the people who are actually the ones who can turn the key, need us to come around them to give them the power to root out corruption. And business can play a fantastic role of influence because when the dollar is, is held at bay, sometimes people tend to act. And again, we don't really have a movement until people are threatened to lose their own jobs when they're not paying attention to the rights of others.